vivevo lontano nel grigio di città vivevo sognando odiavo la realtà e ora sorrido ora che ci sei e ora vivo di questo amore questo amore come il sole questo amore come il sale questo amore mio per te è un tesoro dentro me questo amore se lo vivi ti dà brividi infiniti questo amore mio per te è un tesoro dentro me vivevo d'orgoglio di storie vuote che portavano a niente al vuoto dentro me e ora sorrido ora che ci sei e ora vivo di questo amore questo amore come il sole questo amore come il sale questo amore mio per te è un tesoro dentro me questo amore se lo vivi ti dà brividi infiniti questo amore mio per te è un tesoro dentro me Questo amore come il sole, questo amore come il sale, questo amore mio per te è un tesoro dentro me. Questo amore se lo vivi ti dà brividi infiniti, questo amore mio per te è un tesoro dentro me. Vivevo lontano, adesso vivo in te. Hello everybody, welcome. Giada here, Giada Valenti here in Venice, Italy. Sounds funny, right? And I don't say here from Vegas. That's why we don't have the here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Because as Las Vegas, and I'm not in Vegas actually for a, uh, an extra, another month. Uh, it's uh, actually, I'm in my bedroom here in Venice, Italy, where I spend my whole teenage year, my whole life actually in this house. And it's uh, 9 p.m. at night here in uh, Venice, Italy. Time here and in the world. So 9 p.m. here. I know it's noon for you guys watching from. From Las Vegas so I want to welcome each and every one of you watching for Vegas everybody from my circle of love that has been with me with the Jada life for uh, two years because uh, almost two years this started uh, actually March 19 2020 when COVID started a few days after my last concert in Vegas when Vegas closed down and the whole world stopped and we're still in the middle of COVID and I'm still doing the Jada Live. Well, I did 100 days every day and now I do it once a week. Yes, normally on Wednesday, today is Thursday, so you're not wrong, yes. Um, but, and I do then a Sunday of uh, Love Song Sunday every Sunday on another page where I sing because I am a singer. So welcome to the Circle of Love, the Circle of Love in American Sign Language and welcome also to all the friends that are watching from the page of Italian Living for the first, second, third time. Welcome guys, if you are new, uh, thank you Richard Michelli by the way, the fine living and looks reporter to the charm and elegance of the Italian lifestyle, Rich, Richard Michelli that allows me to go live on his page. So thank you guys, if you're watching from that page for the first time, uh, welcome. Let me know what time it is in the place in the world where you are.
are and where are you in the world? Let me know. Io sono in Italia per quelle che ci guardano dal resto del mondo che parlano in italiano e sono qui a Venezia. Normalmente ero a Las Vegas. Che ora è e da dove ci state guardando? And if you're new, of course, please keep liking my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am a singer and a songwriter. That's what I am from Venice, Italy, and normally today I'm gonna talk and talk about food, but normally I uh, am a singer, and actually the song that you heard in the beginning is uh, uh, Come il sole, which is every time in English, is a song I have written and sang many times for you if you follow me on uh, the Love Song Sunday on Patreon, I know many of you know it, and that is the Italian version actually. Um, so guys, um, Sunday it's coming up, uh, sooner than we know, and the Love Song Sunday, last Sunday was very nice because I was in Italy and I decided to do uh, a, uh, an episode with only Italian song was called was called Una Notte in Italia a night in Italy and I know some of you really enjoyed the fact that I uh, sang a lot of Italian song that you guys don't know this Sunday I go back to the normal uh, format and actually I will put a bunch of song and I will let you choose which one you want me to sing so make sure that you join me on Patreon and you choose and pick and choose the song that you want me to sing on Sunday day for all of you so go on patreon.com slash giada valenti yeah and uh, at the love song sunday of course i also do american sign language thanks to my dear friends diane fiorentino is diane there yes hi everyone i see diane thank you diane for made me aware of the fact that during covid with the mask all the people that are deaf were not allowed to uh, understand us because they could not read our lips so when covid started two years ago she made me aware of it and she i asked her if she could teach me to do american sign language and so kindly she said yes so I've been uh, educated myself and all of you watching on American Sign Language and now actually with Diane we are learning she's learning and then she's gonna teach me how to sign also Italian Sign Language il linguaggio dei sordi italiano which is completely different because you know there are some sign already that we know this is the sign for night actually in American Sign Language and this was the sign for night for uh, the Italian uh, so it's completely different and then there is the famous sign for good morning in American Sign Language which is in Italian has a completely different meaning this is not a good morning so don't do this one when you are in Italy you're gonna get in trouble actually the Italian sign for good morning is this one so the Sun goes up like this one the Sun goes up but don't do the Sun goes up like this the Sun goes up like that thank you Diana I know we are laughing e, e se siete italiani lo sapete che questo non è un buon segno ma nel linguaggio dei sordi in America questo significa buongiorno mentre nel linguaggio dei sordi italiani buongiorno è così significando che questo è il sole che sale lo so è un segno diverso per noi italiani e questo invece è il sole che sale per le persone che sono sorde so grazie Diane Fiorentino for educating me with all of this and you know Thanks to her, I've also learned to sign and sing together. And during the holiday, my single Silent Night, Noche de Passi, told me how to sign it and, and sing it. And I've done it in several television shows. So we have some supporters here of the Jada Life. And... Um, I love them and I always want to give them my thanks beside, beside Italian living. I want to also thank Matilde Vicenzi, my favorite pastry chef, uh, pastry, pastries, not pastry chef, my favorite pastry, pasticcini from Italy, here from Verona, not far from where I am. And I love those cookies ever since I was a child. And they sponsor all my event with uh, the tiramisu and my television appearances. You know that I am a singer that loves to cook and loves to eat. And uh, so thank you, Matilde Vicenzi, for being in my life and our newest edition of a couple of uh, months ago it's Mozzafiato where American shops for the finest Italian beauty fragrance gift for men women and home and you know I tried some of their products I know you did too like that one Aqua dell'Alba Aqua d'Alba and I love them and uh, once a month we always have uh, the founder and CEO of the company Amy Parson appearing with us the beautiful Amy there's Amy she's been our guest and she always uh, share with us her new discovery all the products that uh, they sell at Mozzafiato Fiato, they are made here in Italy. They are very famous in Italy, but you guys don't know them in the United States. And Emmy wanted to bring them to uh, uh, America. So you can go on uh, uh, actually giadavalenti.store, Giada right? No, giada.store, even easy, giada, G I A D A dot store. And it will take you to the Mozzafiato page and you can go through the whole collection. And you, remember, you can buy the stuff. And if you don't like it, which is very impossible because everything is high quality you can always call Amy and send it back with no problem today it's not uh, la festa delle donne I know 
I know where I'm going, is La Festa della Befana. In Italy, uh, Befana is an old woman, and today is Epiphany, La Befana. Today is uh, l'Epifania. Le, le, so, Buona Festa uh, della Befana a tutti quanti, gli uomini e le donne. Of course the Befana, we talked about it a few uh, weeks ago, I mean, pre to prepare ourselves about the Befana, it's an old uh, witch, very ugly, and uh, um, so sometimes men that don't love women in Italy, they say, è una Befana, it means a woman that is very ugly, so when the Epifania comes, they say, happy Befana to you. No, no happy Befana, actually the Befana, remember we talked about it, she brings gift to the children, which was last night, and uh, she, so the children, they hang up their stocking in anticipation of the gift that they're going to receive in the night between the 5th and the 6th of January, and uh, we put them like we do for Santa Claus, on the window, over the fireplace, with a glass of wine and some Christmas treats, in Italy, of course, panettone and pandoro, so no cookies. And the children are always uh, highly anticipated, anticipating for uh, l'arrivo della Befana. They're all excited, right? Because in the, actually in the, the socks of the Befana, you always find sweets. And the one that actually have misbehaved, they would get lumps of coal, which nowadays, and also in my days, those kind of coals were black rock that candy. So they were good. I got plenty of them. And they, my, my mom thought that uh, it was like a punishment. I kind of like it. I was very nice. It was even making my lips black, which was also like a kind of a makeup. So I got tons of it. So happy Epifania tutti. And remember La Befana is pictured as an ugly woman, but actually was a very kind woman. I told you the story. The story goes that she was an old woman, that she was just uh, uh, sweeping the house, cleaning the house, when the three wise men, i tre re magi, they invited her to join them as they were on their way to go and see the baby king, the baby Jesus that was just born. She was too busy, the Befana. She said she couldn't go because she was doing other chords in the house, other things. So, And when she realized that the baby was baby Jesus, the son of God, she regretted not going with them. And she uh, went around the world, uh, traveling around the world. Still, she does that uh, on the night of the sixth, looking for good children. And she gives presents to them. So was last night and it brings me to the episode of tonight so last night i canceled the jada life because it was la befana was epiphany and normally uh, i always love to spend it with my family and so i did so yesterday afternoon we went to my cousin marta siamo andati dalla mia cugina marta with a small group of family because we are also here in the north of italy in the middle of covid and we decided to cook any kind of holidays if you've been here on the jada life any days basically, but especially the holidays, it's not about Jesus or wherever, even though we're very Catholic, it's about food. What shall we eat? What shall we eat? So in my family, actually, uh, we are a family of bakers because my grandfather had a bakery, was uh, was making bread and pizza and all kinds of things, and two of the brothers of my mom. My mom, of course, she worked as a secretary in a office, but in the day off, people worked very hard. She was going also to help uh, uh, her father and the brother. So she knows how to make bread. She knows how to make pizza. She knows to make even the pizza, which is the traditional cake that we eat around in January, around the Epiphany. I'm gonna show you a piece and I'm gonna heat it for you so you can see how delicious it is. Here in the Northeast, actually, uh, of Italy, beside all this tradition, we also have, we talk about the, the tradition called pane vin, which means bread and wine. Now we don't eat bread and wine, but actually we uh, do like a bonfire. Depending on the area where you're from in the Veneto region, they have different names. Remember Bruso la Vecchia, burn the old woman, or Vecchia, the old woman, or la foguera, or la fogherada. We call it foguera here where I am, or panevin. And it was supposed to happen last night. So we reunited with my family last night. Ci siamo trovati tutti nella mia casa, cugina Marta, con la mamma che doveva fare la pizza, with my mother that was making pizza. And then around five o'clock, the weather went crazy. We had the lightning and thunders. Abbiamo avuto un temporale with a very, very uh, high wind. The wind really threw down millions of leaves and took, a, took out all the, the bonfire that was already prepared. The kids had already prepared the big bonfire that was supposed to be lit around seven, eight last night, but it was impossible. But nevertheless, I spent the whole day, actually a long day with my uh, family and uh, uh, I prepared, uh, while I was there, I said, you know what, let me film something so my people, my circle of love, tomorrow night can see what we did. 
And here is uh, what we did. We decided to make pizza because I told you pizza is in my gene, is in my family. And who is the best pizza maker? We can all do it, but nobody does it as well. Nobody la fa buonissima come la mia mamma. And here is a little video that I made for all of you to watch. JJ, can you start the little video? So this happened last night. So the ingredients, of course, on the pizza, this is a recipe of my grand grandfather. It's, it's milk, olive oil, some salt, uh, some flour, of course, some brewer's yeast and sugar, milk and uh, water. That's the basic ingredient for the dough of the pizza. My mother mixed the water and the milk, like my grandfather used to say. And we go, that's mama, that's me, that's the Brower's yeast. So like that one more than the fresh one because it's easy to handle and you have to uh, mix it all together. And then some zucchero, sugar, one, uno, due, tre. Tre little, three little spoon of sugar and you mix all together. And mother said, the flour, the flour. And that's very important for my mother and my family. You have to pour it in little by little because you never know how much flour you're gonna need and you don't wanna put too much. And you can see my mother makes it looks very easy, but uh, you should you try yourself, you know, it's not as easy as it looks. Then you put uh, all olive oil, uno, due, tre, also three, a big spoon this time of olive oil. And you see the hands has changed. I told you we are interchangeable. That's uh, steering the dough, it's uh, Marta, and this is Alessandro, my nephew, and he's writing down all the recipes, so they're never gonna get lost. So he will observe it and writing down everything. So now Marta is steering the dough, and we almost forgot to put the salt. Mama came back, one, two and a half of salt and more flowers, because my mother said it's too liquid, troppo liquida. She came back, she had a phone call. And when you make pizza, like what happened, my cousin Dario smell it from a miles of distance and he came to join us. But good thing because he's a good chef himself. And we were all there around, that's Alessandro and Raffaele. A lot of love and a lot of chats and uh, a lot of blah, blah, blah. As you can see, we're all uh, doing nothing. The only one working is my mother. That's what she would love me to say. But actually, you will see, she's gonna make all of us uh, to work. Now, it doesn't look in this video, but actually, I mean, I'm filming. So I said to my mother, I need to make a video for the Java Live. So then it's time to put your hands in the dough, something that I always wanna do it myself, but I'm not allowed because my mother, she thinks she's better and she actually is. And it's time to work the dough and you see, it's, uh, that's Dario. He's very excited because in a second he's gonna, I told you, he can cook very well himself. He wants to open a restaurant. My father is observing if everything goes well. That's what my dad does all the time. He actually is the only one who doesn't put the hands in the dough. You will see in a second. And then my mother made what they call the panini. Le pagnotte, she made six of them for nine of us and we ended up making seven pizza. You will learn in a second. So then the dough needs to, uh, to stay still for a minimum of three hours. Normally we do also four. Look how much they grow. And sono pronte, which means, sono pronte means they are ready and ready they were. So after we made the dough, you have to cover it up and it has to stay there for a minimum of three hours. You can imagine, so we were all excited. We went outside looking at the, the, the bonfire and then we noticed that the weather was still kind of funky, but you know, the phone was still saying maybe some rain, some drops of rain. So nobody was expecting what actually really, really happened after that. So after that, so we waited three hours, but they went so fast because we watched some TV. You saw Raffaele was there, he's seven years old. So we did some uh, game, we watched some, some soccer game. Uh, Alessandro went down, he has a gym. He said, I'm gonna pump my muscle for all the food I'm gonna eat. And time went so fast, actually three hours was uh, so gone. And then it was time to make uh, the six pizza, the six dough, we wanted to make six this kind of size of pizza. And we have tray enough to make six pizza. That's in the house of uh, my cousin, Mark. A family of two, and she has, I think, six of seven of eight of this tray to make pizza. Because when we normally do these kind of things, it's always a lot of people. And it was time to gather all the topping. And that's the fun of it. And um, I made another video. That's why I was not cooking myself, which was actually, uh, good. The toppings for the pizza that we had, of course, tomato sauce is in all the pizza. We had also some radicchio, mozzarella goes in all the pizza, and then we had some burrata to die for, mushrooms, some ham, some dried tomatoes, and we had some anchovies, I love them, and gorgonzola, and then we pick up some salamino picante and speck. I'm gonna tell you in a second what it is. There were so many pizza and only six dough, 
that Marta really had to write down everything we wanted to make because my mother said, you'll drive me crazy. So we made prosciutto and funghi, then we made salamino, we made margarita with anchovies, uh, half of it, half and half, and then two gourmet, one was radico and speck, and one was gorgonzola, burrata, and pomodorini secchi, which is dried tomatoes. Yes, we are excited, and then it was time for mother again to make the pizza. Tempo di stendere la pizza in italiano. Look at that. It looks so easy if she does it. I tell you, it's not that easy as it looks. And uh, like my grandfather, of course, she's making some little holes on the dough because he said the sauce, la salsa, entra meglio. And as you can see, Raffaele is seven years old. Everybody was helping out and everybody wants to help, actually. Some other people are kissing. Well, that's another thing. And then it was time to put the tomato sauce. There it is, homemade as well. Salsa di pomodoro, come la chiamiamo in italiano and uh, mozzarella, it goes in all the pizza. Of course, another thing that goes in all the pizza, depending, independent, independent of the uh, top, it's oregano. And there it is, Dario is a good chef, I told you, he was cooking the radicchio because we're gonna need it for one of the gourmet pizza that we love to make. And there is my father again, I told you, he's just observing that my mother doesn't make any mistake and she puts some olive oil. Of course, you need to put olive oil on top and then me and my father, we love this one with anchovy. So half was with the anchovy for me and my dad and the other half was with uh, margarita, only tomatoes and mozzarella for the little boy. Raffaele likes only that one, even though he ended up eating all of the other as well. There was Viola, our little dog. She was hoping for a piece on the floor, but I can promise you, None of the, 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 the stuff went on the floor because look what we were doing while we were waiting. Yes, there is anchovies and that's salamino. To die for, then mother, while one was cooking, she was already making the other one. We were busy, I think, for an hour making them. That's prosciutto and mushroom. I know, guys, I make angry myself as well. We take out one and we put inside another one. That was just like una catena di montaggio but we had so much fun. I love my family. And then we made the one with salamino picante, the spicy Italian sausage. You can find it in the United States, but not as good as here. And uh, of course, I had some little trouble with my camera. I had to delete some footage. It was moving because Raffaele was driving me crazy. And you see, Marta and my father, Marta was feeding me and my father. The burrata was to die for. The prosciutto e funghi was uh, almost ready. And look how many. So you're gonna wonder, what do you do? They're gonna, you're gonna eat them cold? No, we're gonna warm them up when we sit on the table. And actually, uh, some of them needs also a cold topping. So this is the one that we do as the last one. So the radicchio was ready. Is that kind of salad that you find here and you made it on top of your pizza. This was, we call it gourmet because you don't find them uh, in all the pizzeria. It's more something in my family they do. So you cook it and when it's cooked and it's a little bit cool, you put the speck. I'm gonna tell you what it is, even though I know many of you may know. You find it uh, everywhere in Italy, but it's from the north of Italy where I'm from. And that's, yes, my mother needed to make six of those dough. And this was one of the favorite with uh, the burrata, the gorgonzola and the dried tomatoes. So you put uh, the mozzarella and then you put also the gorgonzola and you put it in the oven. Look at that and then you put the burrata. You don't cook the burrata, ladies and gentlemen, we are very peculiar, and also you don't cook the dry tomatoes. And then, yes, si mangia, was time to eat the pizza, as you can see. Uh, normally, after we eat all that food, in my family, we would have gone outside and have some more food, we would have had the pizza, the wine, but then about the time we were sitting on the table, the weather went crazy. It started to rain cats and dogs, as they say in England. And the wind, there was so much wind that actually the door started to move. The little dog, Viola, you saw it, she didn't even want it to go outside to pee. We were like, well, she doesn't want to go outside. So we tried to open the door and the, the, the ceiling was coming down. We had really like a tornado kind of thing. So we started to say, oh my gosh, the bonfire is not happening. And it did not happen. Actually, after we had uh, the delicious dinner, it was clear that we could not go outside and uh, show you in a second. We did uh, actually some game that I don't know if you guys are familiar. I'm gonna show it in a second. I wanna, uh, some of you had a question actually, what is the spec? I told you, it's an, we, 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 spoke, we talk about it when I was cooking. It's a, uh, you know, I never found it in the United States. Maybe it is available, I couldn't find it. Somebody knows where to find spec in the United States on the West Coast coast because maybe on the east coast in New York you can find it. It's kind of an Italian, Austrian and German uh, cured meat 
and um, is from the let's say the the north of, of Italy, more also in the German and Austria. The, we call it Tyrol, the zone of the Tyrol, and is obtained by the leg of the pork, and is uh, subject to a cold smoking process. So it's kind of salty, it's a little bit uh, hard uh, on the bite, but it's to die for. And the one we use actually to make my pizza comes from not far from where I'm from. I'm in Venice, and we have the next region uh, next door is Friuli Venezia Giulia, and there is a place called Sauris, and then. They made a very uh, kind of uh, uh, speck that you saw uh, called the Sauris. It's, it's a village that is located on 1200 uh, meters above the sea level in the Friuli. And uh, they speak German actually there, even though they are in the Friuli Venezia Giulia. So we use that one. And it's one of my the favorite in uh, my uh, family actually. I don't know if you can find it in uh, some pizzeria. But as I said, so the bonfire was not happening. Buona epifania, Antonella Giorgia saying. That's uh, mia, la mia cugina. Buona epifania anche a te, anche se non sei una befana, giusto? Non è la festa delle donne, è la festa delle befane. And I see also Roger. You are making me hungry. Roger, I was saying exactly the same. Uh, Today actually uh, I was uh, was a busy day, but I was editing also some of the video of last night. And yesterday I said, "Oh, I'm not going to be hungry tomorrow." Uh, today I was hungry again. I wanted to have all the pizza that we finished. Uh, cured and uh, way on pass and Valley View sells back really. Oh, Roger, when I'm back in Las Vegas, you have to take me there, and I want to see if they have which kind of. Uh, um, speck do they have? I couldn't find it actually when I was cooking. I remember one of the recipe at the Jada Life, I needed the speck and not even Bob and Mary Lou, they, they normally could find anything for me. They were doing shopping for me. They couldn't find it. So anyway, that place has it. So no bonfire. We couldn't do it. So uh, the kids uh, did it for me. Uh, I'm going to show you. You didn't show the video, right, JJ? No, no not yet. So after we had the pizza, of course, I want to show you, uh, JJ, show the little video because I, I, I filmed everything. So we started with the, the pizza and in my family, we are always very peculiar if we like it or not like it. And as you can see, my father loves it, uh, even Raffaele likes it, JJ likes it, look at that. A lot of thumbs up and, and we, got an, we got an applause. It was supposed to be an applause for my mother, but my mother, Diane, are you laughing? Actually. This is an applause for all of us, and this is applause for the deaf people. So in my family, everybody was applauding also for the deaf people. And I said, Mom, the applause was for you, but actually she was applauding also for us because she said, we kind of help her. So when the bonfire didn't happen, we, uh, uh, we said, what are we gonna do? Nobody wanted to go home. We couldn't go home. We couldn't even open the door because the wind was storming inside. So we ended up playing all this uh, game. Uh, it's an old game called Tombola. Show the video, JJ. I don't know if you guys know. It's with number. Real money, even the little boy, the little boy Raffaele wants twice. Il bambino ha vinto due volte. You have basically, you have to pick up numbers. You can buy those little cartelle with a kind of numbers. So 20 cent, euro cent, you buy as many cards as you want, and everyone has 10 numbers. Then the little boy was taking out the number, and you have to fill the, the, the cards. It's like a bingo, I guess. I don't know. And anyway, I didn't win, but my mother won twice I think and she was my bank she was my banker I was playing with her money so she won I lost everything but she won so basically she said we didn't lose any money we do it every uh, kind of occasions we have and all the money we collected in a bag and then we use the money to play again the next time and the money that is in the bag normally we use it to bring it to church for candle or stuff somebody in need so it's a tradition of family and uh, so the bonfire didn't happen yesterday it happened tonight and I couldn't go, otherwise I would have had to cancel again the Jada Life. So I want to thank my uh, nephew Alessandro, he's uh, 17 years old. Voglio ringraziare mio nipotino Alessandro e i suoi amici that uh, not only they, they went around and they, re they rebuilt the, 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 the bonfire, la, la casera, like we call it, and uh, they put a time-lapse uh, video for me. So I want to show you here the, how they, they did it, the kids actually four or five kids this afternoon. Today was, by the way, a beautiful sunny day. Look, the sky was the sky was blue, the sun, you see, the sunset, and they rebuilt the bonfire. They put the, the cross on top of it, because remember, you put either the cross of the old lady that brings good luck, 
And look at that, the kids, they did it. Uh, I think they did everything in, in, in an hour. Look at the kids. Thank you, guys. Grazie, ragazzi. Siete stati bravissimi. They put thumbs up for themselves. And that's my uh, also nephew joining them and his girlfriend, Julia. So thank you, ragazzi. And of course, uh, tonight around 6.37, they also lit that uh, bonfire and uh, I want to show you the fire that they made for all of us. Yes, and you see people are going close and they you can throw uh, stuff because you know the symbol is that you burn the past to make space for the space for the future. So it's good luck to uh, throw something in the fire and uh, so they did it also for me. And then you stay there and they hit uh, the pizza and they drink some wine. That's what we were supposed to do it last night, but it was impossible. And then of course, after that, we all wish to each other. Buona Befana! Buona Befana! Thank you, Marta. Grazie, Marta, a tutti i ragazzini. Uh, che avete fatto questo video per me. Thank you, kids, for doing all of that. And then of course, they went inside and they had this one, you remember? I talk about it. This is the famous pinza. It's, um, it smells fantastic, guys. There is figs inside. There is a, a kind of nuts is made with eggs and flour. Actually, this one, Marta, my cousin Marta, made it together with Maria. We had a lot of it today. But normally after the bonfire, you outside there, they start to serve uh, uh, um, warm wine. I know, Roger, you will love that. And then you start to hit this one. Um, it's a sacrifice not to try it. <laughs> it's just delicious. I think I, we, this one, guys, was big like this. And with the four of us today, we, had, uh, we did a good job. We had it this morning. We had it for lunch. We had it in the afternoon with tea. And my mom, she saw me coming inside the, the, the bedroom with this one. She said, are you going to have more? I said, no, of course not. I'm going to show the, the kids at home and uh, the people from the Circle of Love. And I may have to try a piece. It's to die for maybe one time. I have to learn how to make it because Alessandro, I told you, my nephew is uh, writing down the recipe because these are traditional old recipe. My grandfather, all my, um, my uncles, they made a delicious one and nobody in the family knows how to make it so this time while we were making this and we're making the pizza we're gonna make next week also the gnocchi a special kind of gnocchi with potatoes alessandro is gonna be writing down everything so uh for generation to come in our family we will know how to make this food that generated in in, uh, in our family from uh, i think my and still, this is delicious, but it's not even close to the one that my grandfather was making. They, somehow in the past, this is also made with polenta, so with mice. Uh, in the past, somehow they were putting so much uh, different kind of uh, fruits inside. This also has uh, orange juice. My grandfather, I don't think, was using orange juice. They're all delicious, you know. And But uh, the original one is lost there is only one family member that i'm trying to reach and he still may have the recipe of my grandfather so i want to talk to my uncle um to see if he still has the recipe so let me see who was there with us i see uh my Ika jakes uh, that looks delicious it is delicious where are you from let me know i see also summer summer how you doing i know you are from las vegas i see cell yes love the clapping from uh from mama yes right the, and then I see also Mike Vaccaro, Italian bingo. Yeah, it's Italian bingo, La Tombola. Then I see Luisa Liu, ciao, I'm going, look, I'm going to look for spec in Vegas. Oh yeah, Luis, let me know if you find it. But I know Roger said that he, he knows a place where to find it. So contact Roger Scallion. I see Jeff Friedman is my, um, the guy that was always giving me compliments for my PBS special from his uh, sound technician. So... Uh, guys, I hope I didn't make you, uh, that looks delicious, well, the pizza, right? The pizza was to die for, and I think February is pizza month, so I may have to have mom making pizza again. Richard Hunger, Richard, by the way, I'm going to be thinking of you because next week Richard is going to have surgery. Everything is going to go great. We're going to keep you uh, all in our prayer. And I see Alessandro Baio, dove vivi? Eh beh, io vivo a Venezia. Dove vivi tu, Alessandro? I see Anne Sapphire, auguri, buona festa delle Befana. Grazie mille. And I see Maria Denisi, ciao Giada, and uh, Giovanni Menga. Manda rose, baci, and thumbs up. Salfio, Diane Fiorentino. Diane, I hope you're doing well. Diane was a little bit under the weather. I see also Denise. Ciao, Jada and JJ. Yes, JJ is on the other side. And yes, by the way, for the one of you 
watching. Oh, Frank, Frank La Placa. How are you doing, Frank? Frank had uh, COVID, but uh, you are here with me, so I guess you're doing well. I don't see Doug. Doug has a daughter who has COVID. I hope she's doing well. She was not doing very well. So uh, we keep you in the prayer. I'm going to text him, actually. Michelle Johnson, that voice, heavenly. Talking about that voice, Michelle was my guest. She is our uh, jazz diva in Las Vegas. I love you, girl. And she's been my guest also the Jolly Life. She gives compliments for my voice and I love yours as well. So guys, this was the episode for tonight. I am not going to eat this pizza. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. But you know what is I'm going to have tomorrow morning for breakfast, right? With a cup of coffee or a cappuccino or who knows. So I will say raise your hands with the I love you sign. That we learn uh, here in the Jolly Life. This is I love you. So, or you can also say, I love you. And let's stay connected. I'm going to see you this Sunday for the Love Song Sunday. And you can pick and choose your song. I'm going to put them there uh, tomorrow. So you can choose your song. Make sure that you join me. Same time, 2 p.m. Also here from Venice, Italy. And I'm going to be singing, only singing for you. No cooking and not much talking Sunday. And uh, what else? Let's stay connected. We lascio you come sempre con... Un bacio e un abbraccio. Thank you to all my family for making the pizza. Grazie alla mia famiglia. Thank you to Marta and the kids that make all those videos for me today. Guys, grazie di cuore, grazie, grazie. E ci vediamo domenica e poi ci vediamo di nuovo mercoledì. Thank you, ciao. Dankeschön, dear oh, dankeschön. Thank you for seeing me again. Though I'm here in my solitude, I know you are there, and in my heart I smile again. And so I sing here in my solitude, waiting to see you, same time, same place, and I can't wait to say again, Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Dankeschön.